If you're ever in Wyala, South Australia, the Stillworks plant is a must-do tour. Tours leave from the Wyala Tourist Information Centre Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 9.30am. The tour goes for one and a half hours on a bus. You need to pre-book. The Wyala Stillworks is an integrated still manufacturing facility located in Wyala. It is owned and operated by GFG Alliances, a global industrial group. The Stillworks plays a significant role in the local economy and have been a major employer in the region for many years. The Wyala Stillworks was established in 1965 and has since become an important industrial complex in Australia. It was initially owned by BHP and has undergone several ownership changes over the years. Steelworks are involved in various stages of the steel production process, including iron making, steel making, rolling and finishing. They have blast furnaces, steel making furnaces and rolling mills on site allowing for the production of different types of steel products. The Wyala Steelworks produces a range of steel products including rail, structural sections, steel plate, steel rods and more. These products cater to various industries including construction, infrastructure, mining and manufacturing. The Steelworks have been a significant employer in the Wyala region providing jobs for local residents. The workforce consists of skilled workers, engineers, technicians and support staff who contribute to the steelmaking process and operations. The Wyala Steelworks have a substantial economic impact on the local and national economy. They contribute to job creation, revenue generation and support industries throughout the supply chain. Straight across there to our right, you can see, is the blast furnace. We'll just go down a bit further. You see the molten material being poured out at the bottom across there. So, what you see being poured out at the bottom there is actually a byproduct of this process called slag. If you look out here to the left, you can see all this grey rock out here is slag. A grey tank up above ground level. So, this is all to do with reclaimed water. So. Any water that's used in any process here, oh. sorry about this, right? if there's any runoff of water from that process, they capture that water, they send it out to filtration and heat treatment and store it for later use. To uh, make coke, they're baking black bitumen coal. They use black bitumen coal because that fuses or clumps together in the baking process. And um, what happens is they bake them at around about 900 to 1100 degrees for between 18 and 20 hours. And they have machinery that move along the back of the ovens here. They come along and take an oven door off, send a ram arm through the oven that rams the baked product through to the front of the oven. And that is dispensed out into a rail car. Which so these ovens are kept heated all the time. So originally, when they made the um, steel, the molten steel, what they would do um, up until the days that one steel had a new plant introduced, they would pour up the molten steel into moulds called ingots. They would then form a block of steel. But when one steel took over the site, eventually they had what's called a continual carter built here. So that enabled them to just form blocks of steel. Uh, so, really, it simplifies, speeds the process up. It's better handling them. So, just here on our right, if you look here, you'll see this large block here with an emergency assembly point sign on it. That's what an ingot is. Yeah, I have an So, this here out here to our right is the continual caster, doing away with the need for the mould as the ingot. So they cast out three different size slabs here, uh, in particular uh, slabs, brooms and billets. The process here for head hardening the rail that's done at customer request too. So to do that they rapidly keep and rapidly call the top section of rail which might harden and make it last a lot longer. When they do this though it does curve the rail 
So they put the rail then through a straightening plug to straighten it out. The Wyala Steelworks have a substantial economic impact on the local and national economy. They contribute to job creation, revenue generation and support industries throughout the supply chain. Big thanks to our tour guide and bus driver. It was an excellent tour of the steelworks. Also, while you're in Wyala, there is some interesting uh, areas to visit. The very modern and unique circular jetty is worth a visit. Also, a visit out to Point Lowly Lighthouse and coastal area is rather nice. Yeah, I recommend Wyala as a place to spend a few days. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and subscribe.